Hi, I'm Mikhail and I develop safe apps developer tools at Gnosis. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can turn your existing app into a safe application by changing just one line of code. And let's start with a brief introduction to safe apps. Safe apps is a way to integrate with the safe multi sub interface. You can build a safe app for your T5 protocol or whatever that lives on the Ethereum blockchain. and allow users to seamlessly integrate with it with, from their multi sig interface. And this is how it currently looks. As you can see, we have a bunch of uh, DeFi protocols and some handy applications like Transaction Builder. This is an app that allows composing multiple transactions into a single transaction or Wallet Connect that allows fake multi sig to connect to DAPs via Wallet Connect. And if you developed safe apps before, you would use one of our SDKs to communicate with our interface. And we understood that this was not the, the smoothest experience because it didn't follow, our SDKs didn't follow regular API for Web3 wallets and the developers would have to maintain it separately. And with our new approach, if you are using onboard JS or Web3 model, like two most popular wallet integration libraries right now you can now use our own patched versions that uh, if our if your app use, uses our patched versions and gets loaded into a safe context it would automatically detect that and connect to a safe and for the purpose of example i chose popular yarn finance app and they're using convert js as you can see if i click connect a wallet it prompts me to connect my regular web free wallet and if it's loaded in, inside the safe it does the same and let's change that so the first thing uh, you need to do to turn your app into a safe app is to include the manifest json file describing your application and this information allows to us to display your app in, in the safe apps list i showed you before and here is the code that is responsible for connecting to a wallet and what we need to do is just replace the import statement with our own patched version oh, and of course first we have to install it so let's do that install and yeah here it is and it uses the same API as regular in both JS version does. And so all the previous code is still valid and it will work as expected. And let's run the app and see what happens now. So a regular app still prompts to connect a wallet, worked as expected and it's loaded in, inside the safe interface. It detected that it, it's loaded inside the safe and connected to my safe. As you could, can see, it, it, it was fairly easy and uh, all the links to the, to the documentation will be in the description for this video. And yeah, thank you.